What's going on everybody? DJ Mines here and uh, we're actually going to take a walk through the forest today or on the side of the forest I guess you could say. Don't be fooled it's just the side of the forest. But I wanted to do something different man and I just kind of I needed to go outside. Uh, every now and then I do go outside I know believe it or not crypto miners and YouTubers sometimes we do adventure into the wilderness. But you know I want to talk about my experience and what's going on with my life and what I'm thinking right now. So today I spent the day with my father who is visiting and we've been looking at properties for myself. He's not giving me any money or anything. It's all self-founded. He's just older than me. He's bought a lot of houses in his life and real estate and he's done a pretty good job of it. So I want to talk about real estate for me and what my adventure has been like so far. So I did get pre-approved and and this is again my first time ever buying a home now I have purchased land I have probably three properties right now I think in this town and you know it's it's not the same as a home though and I finally got pre-approved today after trying it was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be and it's it's crazy to think about you know one of these days I'm actually gonna own a home like little old me you know I'm 32 I'm not getting any younger and uh, it's right now the best time to buy a home I mean, probably not. I think there's good things and there's there's bad things. So prices in my area, I live in, in New York somewhere, prices are definitely coming down big time. And the, the homes that I like and I've been interested in, the prices have come down, I don't know, 20, 25%. And, you know, in my local market, there's some, there's some houses that I really want. And yeah, I feel like they're at that range now where I'm like, wow, I want this. I want these homes. And they're, they're still a little bit more than what I want to pay. But they're a lot less than what people wanted just six months ago or a year ago. So it's important to note that I don't want to rush anything. And at the same time, I also don't want to take too, too long because rates are getting insane right now. And so I got pre-approved. I'm using what's called the VA loan. If you don't know, military, all that stuff, right? And so it's about 5.6%. I just fell in a ditch right there. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, it's about 5.6%, which isn't the best ever. It's the best that the VA can give you. And everybody else, I think civilians are probably paying 6, 6.5, 6 something around there. But the Fed is actually going to raise rates once again, guys. If we do go into this recession, which I really think we're about to go in a recession, man. The rates are going to go up probably half a basis point, which means 0.5%. And you would think, right, if you don't know anything about buying a home, and you would think, oh, 0.5%, that's nothing. That's a lot of money, man. It's thousands and and thousands of dollars. If it goes up a whole basis point, which is a percentage, man, we could be talking about a $10,000, $20,000 difference over time, depending on the, the price of the home that you purchased. So I'm telling, you know, I'm talking to my wife, we're thinking about it, I was talking to my dad, and I was like, man, yeah, we could wait some more. We could wait for prices to come down. However, does it matter that much right now when the prices have already come down substantially in my area? And then the Fed's just going to raise the percentage that the loans are anyway. So what's the difference right now? And, you know, I want to get away from the particular nine to five job. I don't have a nine to five job. I wish I did. It's a six to five. It's like 11, sometimes 12 hours a day or 60 hours a week, approximately. I want to get away from that life. I want to have financial independence. I want to have financial freedom. Now, buying a home, you could, of course, say, well, is that really freedom? No, not really, because I'm going to pay on it. I have the money and everything, but is now the time to buy a home? You know, in my situation, I think it is because I don't think in the next six months is going to be a better time. I, I predict that the prices are going to be a lot higher, not of the homes, but of the interest that you're paying. And again, you know, you could you could argue either one is going to be worse than the other. But I really do want a home, man. I want a place to call my my own. And right now with my job and swapping jobs and, and career fields that I'm wanting to switch. Again, I don't want to be a entrepreneur anymore. I want to be an entrepreneur and I need to go in a direction for myself where I feel like, hey, this is going to help me get to where I want to be in life. I don't want to be trapped by that, that nine to five life. You know what I mean? I, do, I don't want to continue to live that route. So not only am I trying to purchase a home right now, but I feel like I'll finally be able to build that crypto farm that I've always wanted to build, you know, my own land. Right now I live in an HOA and it sucks, man. They tell me what I can do, when I can do it. They complain about my yard and my yard won't even be that bad. It'll be a few inches long if I don't get the leaves in time. And I don't know, it's time to move, man. It's time to find a better electric rate. It's just time to move on in life. And I really feel like that's, that's it for me. You know, I feel like this is probably the best time for me in my situation. And I'm really curious in your guys' local areas, what do you guys? seeing is it a good time for you are you going to continue to wait until the fed dumps everything and, and, and makes it harder to loan money or are you going to wait very long now one thing that i think will be okay with long term if you look at mortgages they really never go down in the long run and the further
further that you look out, I'm talking five years, 10 years, whatever distance, 20 years, you almost never are gonna lose money with, with the housing, right? So buying a home 10 years from now will more than likely, statistically and historically, be worth more money. Now a year from now, six year, six months from now, two years from now, who knows, right? Might have been a dumb decision in the short run, but people are always gonna need a place to live, you know? And the houses that we're looking at, and uh, it's very, very exciting, it's all 2007, 2010, 2015. So we're not looking at old homes in my situation. My wife is not a fan of old homes. She is a city girl from South Korea, and all she knows is that city life, man. So it's already hard enough trying to get her to live in the suburbs. She wants she wants to live in like a New York City or something. Ugh, I could never do that. Could you guys do something like that, live in like a city? I, I couldn't do it, man. I could visit a city. It's a nice place to visit, but I would never want to live there. And uh, she hates having neighbors, and that's a different situation, man. Let me know about your guys' wives or husband or whatever you got. You know, I'm not a young pup anymore, 32. I'm sure if you're 40 or 50, you're thinking I'm young. And if you're younger than me, you're thinking I'm old, but I don't feel like I'm young, man. I don't, I don't feel young anymore. Uh, I still feel okay. I don't feel out of shape or anything, but I want to start paying off the home now. And who knows, will this be my forever home? I'm hoping it will be, but I don't know if it will be. But 10 years from now, 20 years from now, do I think this price will go up of this home? Absolutely. You bet your bottom dollar, man. And how do you get rich from a lot of the millionaires and billionaires that I've seen besides like crypto and stuff, man, almost all of them will tell you real estate, real estate, real estate. You know, it's kind of like the big boy leagues, right? Real estate. And so this is just kind of my entry into it. And I'm hoping, you know, this home that I'm going to potentially buy, I'm looking in the three to 350 range, you know, hopefully one day it's worth 450, five, right? And so, you know, I can't really look at a home as an investment, so to say. I don't really feel like a single story home or like a single family home is an investment necessarily. That's not really, I've had like a fourplex or something. That's more of like an investment, but just buying a single home isn't really an investment, but in a way it might work out in the end. And Hey, I'll have a place of my own. So I think that's it for today's video guys let me know if you like this background and me stepping in all these holes and the forest and who knows maybe we'll do some more walking around videos and just talking to you guys and venting and talking about the housing market i don't know it's my first time so if you want to hear about my journey what's it like did i end up getting a home which home did i get or whatever not the specific address but you know my story of what it's like buying a home let me know in the comment section below i love every single one of you if you like this video and consider subscribing i would definitely appreciate it and you'll get more content like this and until next time dj minds signing out